Neurodiverse students are essentially special needs learners who possess academic challenges related to conditions of brain functioning. The initiative, which ended last week in St. Lucia, focused on the educational needs of children specifically diagnosed with autism, ADHD, and dyslexia. Delivered by Lesley University's Institute for English Language Programs, Beyond Borders, in collaboration with the Authentic Caribbean Foundation, the ACF, the activity benefited some 100 teachers locally. Education Officer for Special Education, Dale Senchis, says this will boost government efforts to provide critical support to children with special needs through the specialized training to teachers. The idea here is that rather than send children away to be supported for their educational needs, we want to be able to provide educational support within their classrooms, within their normal spaces, together with their, their, their peers. So what will happen as a result of this training activity is that these teachers will now be able to go back and know how to provide differentiated instruction in the classroom so that children who are typically developing as well as those who have special needs can both be educated in the same setting. The Authentic Caribbean Foundation, ACF, founded in 2012, is a non-profit organization based in Boston and is committed to transforming the lives of Caribbean children and their caregivers impacted by disabilities and HIV-AIDS through the provision of health and educational support. Teacher assigned to the Special Education Unit, Vanessa Menal, says the ACF collaboration is delivering hands-on training that will redound to efficient support to neurodiverse learners. These are the, the, the children who are in the typical classroom. So the teachers have to be able to provide um, the necessary interventions for those children, especially because now we are in a, a time when there is a very push towards inclusion. These children are in the regular classroom, so yes, they need that support. I must also say that um, it is not only for the teachers who are in the general ed setting providing the support for the students, but we also have the teachers at the special schools um, also attending this training. The initiative was created in partnership with the Ministry of External Affairs through the island's embassy in Washington, D.C. and Miami Consulate. This program will be offered in the future. It will be offered to healthcare workers and the community stakeholders to deal directly and indirectly with persons with disabilities. The follow-up training initiative for social and healthcare workers and other community stakeholders is being planned for later in 2021. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting.